Hello there, I'm Joseph, and I'm here today on my cherry farm in Fundale. And uh, as you can see, there's uh, there's not too many leaves on the on the cherry trees here in the main orchard. Uh, it's a bit of a brisk morning. It's uh, it's rather chilly. And um, yeah, there's dew all over the floor, and there's a nice fog rolling in across the valley, which is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, and today is my birthday. It's uh, it's something that I don't normally celebrate, though. However, I'm uh, I'm not really one for celebrating birthdays, but um, today I am celebrating. It's um, yeah, it's uh, it's a good day today. Uh, Mariana, Mariana's had little little Chloe uh, two days ago, actually two days ago. But um, but yeah, so the 22nd of November she was born, and uh, she's absolutely beautiful. I've never never experienced anything like this. It's amazing. She's she's doing so well. Mariana is uh, <laughs> such a strong girl. I can't I can't believe it. I I've got so much admiration for her. She's she's stronger than I could ever be, and. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a different episode this one. I uh, I normally normally like to do things a bit more in depth and do a few things here and there around the farm, but I'm sure this one's going to be a bit going to be a bit shorter because uh, <laughs> as I'm sure you can imagine, I haven't really got too much time on my hands this week. Uh, you can probably hear the lambs and the sheep up there. I'm just going to uh, just going to let them out of the barn now. But um, but yeah, I've been going and visiting Mariana in the hospital, and and obviously I can't can't stay there the whole time. Unfortunately, I'd love to, but. I can't so I'm restricted to a few hours a few hours here and there so but yeah but Mariana's doing absolutely amazing <coughs> Chloe's doing amazing she's so beautiful <laughs> <coughs> I'll, uh, I'll pop a picture on the screen here if I can and, um, and yeah <coughs> let's let the sheep out <laughs> <coughs> out you come girls <coughs> there they are Morning, Godfrey. <laughs> Here he is, old Godfrey. Having a head scratch in the morning. You all right, mate? So that's the sheep let out for the morning, and uh, yeah, now I need to feed the pigeons. So I've got uh, <laughs> my little my little makeshift pigeon loft here. And you can see the the two females inside. There they are. <laughs> the males are outside. I've got the food here, so let's go feed them. A little bit of the grain has gone on the floor there. And we've got Godfrey sitting waiting to clear it up. He's gonna hoover that, hoover that straight up. <laughs> Godfrey's actually a, a little bit of a pain. You've got to be got to be careful when walking around in the in the field here and, and letting him out in the morning. He uh he likes the headbutt, so <laughs> gotta have eyes in the back of your head. Like I told you a, a couple of months back, he did actually headbutt headbutt my father so um so yeah luckily it wasn't wasn't too too bad though it was just in the side of the knee there could have been a lot worse if it was right in the kneecap though or in the back or something and i was talking to my friend simao uh whose farm i put for sale uh, a few weeks back and uh, he, he he keeps sheep and he was he was telling me last night that i really do need to um probably think about changing godfrey in for another ram but i don't like that idea i like godfrey <laughs> he's a good boy he doesn't mean it he's he's got a sweetheart he just I think we've given him a bit too much love. I think he uh, he looks at us like we're like we're a fellow sheep. So he because uh, he's had too many strokes and whatever in the <laughs> in his early early months of age, he um, he now thinks he now thinks that we're we're another sheep. And I guess it would be natural for them to like rut or or whatever they do headbutt and stuff. But yeah, so so now yeah he likes to headbutt. But oh well. Now let's go let the chickens and the geese out. <laughs> And as we come down now from the sheep barn through the uh, through the main cherry orchard, you can see the trees uh, are all looking rather bare now. They've uh, they've shed their shed their leaves for the year. Autumn's in full swing now, and we're entering uh, not quite, but almost getting ready for winter now. Uh, feels like it this morning. It's jolly chilly, and yeah, all the trees are looking bare, which is a a bizarre sight. You can uh, you could probably hear um, this leaf blower going in the background here. And that is the um, 
the parish council. It's their jobs to keep all of the uh, all of the all of the tracks and lanes clear. So that's uh, my friend Roy over there. He's uh, he's clearing up the lane. You can just see just see his van over there. I was hoping to say hello to him, but I don't think he can. I don't think he'll hear me. He's over there <laughs> behind our pile of rocks there. Mamiya! Nope, can't hear. <laughs> oh well, let's go let the chickens out. <laughs> We keep all of the uh, all of the poultry penned in for the night because you do obviously get foxes and whatnot. So so they need to be they need to be kept in. Come on, geese. They're ready. Morning, babies. <laughs> I'll shut those out on the grass because otherwise they'll eat all of the all of the chicken food. And then I'll let the chickens out here into the main pen. I'll give them their food. I need to go collect that. Morning, girls. So I'll um, I'll now go up and collect the chicken food, and uh, I'll feed them in here. I'll give a bit to the geese on the other side of the fence, and that'll uh, that will stop the geese from uh, from gobbling it all up because they've got they've got beaks like uh, or bills. They've got bills like uh, like shovels. So they. Uh, <laughs> They polish all the food up if I'm not careful. So, um, so yeah. Now I'll go collect the food, give them to uh, give give all that food to the uh, to the poultry in here, and then uh, in about an hour or so, uh, two hours perhaps, when they've when they've cleared all that up, we've got some fruit and some grain for them today. Then um, then I'll open the door up, and they'll be back out onto the pasture. Not that there's too much at the minute. They've uh, they've nilled it down to football pitch size, but yeah. <laughs> so uh, whilst I go and. Uh, get the chicken feed I think I'll uh, I'll tell you a bit about our chickens if you're a if you're a new viewer you might not might not have seen my other videos where I've got chickens up oh. <laughs> I failed opening the gate I've let them all out uh oh there we go <laughs> only about only about 10 come out <laughs> we're, we haven't got that many chickens at the moment um, we've uh, we're, we're probably at our lowest that we've ever had we normally have uh, we normally have around 100 to 200 birds here on the farm um, and we breed them to, to sell them as uh, as uh, as livestock to other people, uh, we breed them for eggs and, and everything else that that comes with poultry. But um, but yeah, I'm completely self-sufficient in poultry products, so um, so that's quite a quite a milestone for me because it's uh, it's definitely uh, high up on my list of priorities to be to be uh, taking as much as I can from the farm rather than the supermarkets. And uh, yeah, I've got a few different breeds here. I've just let the the ducks out. There they are. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got quite a few different breeds of chicken here. We keep um, we keep uh, uh, Transylvanian naked necks, which are these ones just here. You can see that little that little rooster. He's um, he's not got any neck neck feathers at all. Doesn't want to be on camera though. He's camera shy. <laughs> but um, but yes, yeah, so we breed uh, uh, Transylvanian naked necks. We breed ISA Browns, uh, Rhode Island Reds. Uh, what else do we breed? Americanas, Easter Eggers. Uh, <laughs> Quite a few uh, Sussex, Black Black Rocks, uh, yeah, quite a few. But anyway, <laughs> let's go get the food. Now, as we come up through the um, through the uh, through the little uh, the little little tiny olive grove here, we've got a couple of other olive, olive groves as well. Uh, we've uh, we've already picked these trees, um, but last week you would have seen me doing the olive harvest, and I said, "Oh, I've got another week ahead of me and all that." <laughs> yeah, well, obviously we're not doing that now because of because uh, <laughs> of Chloe and Mariana, but um, but yeah, that will resume. We've got quite a long quite a long window to pick olives, so that will resume uh, in not too. Not too many days, I would have thought, but yeah. <laughs> but Chloe is uh, sorry. I'm not going to keep talking about her all the time, but I'm so, so happy. Sorry, <laughs> but um, I can hear Dad coming now with the wheelbarrow. Hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, just a little treat for the chickens. Oh, okay. Um, What's that? Pears. Rabbits, pears off the tree. Pears, yeah. pears and apples, or just pears? Just, just pears on this one. Just uh, pears. It's too heavy to carry, so yeah. the wheelbarrow. <laughs> well, I'll come down with you. Yeah, come on down. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, she's doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, you, you, you won't believe it. I've never seen, I've never, I'm not that I've seen many babies, of course, but I've not seen uh, 
a baby with so much hair. She's a uh, she's my little monkey. She's got <laughs> a full head of hair. I joked with the midwife and said that um, said I was going to book her in for the hairdresser's appointment next week. <laughs> Can I give you some good news? Go on, Dad. What's the yeah. good news? I don't know if you've heard. I don't think so. But no. she's ready to come home today. She is coming yeah, home today. So I, 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 I was hoping sure she you know. would. I, that's, that's the best birthday present I could hope for there. So yeah. yeah after <laughs> visiting today. So that definitely is cause to celebrate my birthday then. I don't normally, but yeah, this year I definitely will. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing news. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I'll open that gate for you. But, um, but yeah, she's a beautiful little baby. And she was uh, actually not a little baby. She was three kilos. Uh, 375 grams so I'm not sure what that is in pounds and ounces for anyone anyone working in those so sorry about that but yeah right let's go give some pears to pears to the poultry and uh, and stop talking babies for a moment yeah We've got three things to celebrate today <laughs> three things to celebrate go on make my day better Joe's birthday today yeah <laughs> George's first birthday George's today George's birthday and then we got Chloe coming home this afternoon, Aww, strong evening. Yeah. And for anyone who doesn't know, George is, you might know Lloyd from earlier on in our episodes, George is his little, his little baby and, and my sister. So my sister and brother-in-law, they had a little baby last year and his name's George. So yeah, his birthday today. So happy birthday, George. <laughs> Let's give these pears to the animals. Rightio, so here's some pears. We're gonna, we're gonna try and coax the geese over here and then maybe get some of those chickens back in so they can get some food without the geese eating it. <laughs> it's like feeding time at the zoo here. <laughs> right, I think Dad got a few of them chickens back in the, uh, back in the main coop, so let's take a peek. So, uh, so yesterday we had uh, we had a good friend, a subscriber of ours, uh, popped around the house, and he gave us gave us a little gift. So, uh, so thank you very much, Carlos. That's uh, really appreciated. Muito obrigado. And uh, yeah, I'm just about to uh, to pour a glass of that gift out to uh, to the parish council workers who are who are down here uh, <laughs> clearing up the clearing up the road after everyone's done their olive harvest and and uh, yeah, getting rid of all the uh, the olive pits on the floor and stuff. So yeah, let's go have let's go have a glass to celebrate, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Obrigado. Ah, saúde. Ah, a saúde. Nossa. nossa. A saúde do bebê. Saúde do bebê. É. <laughs> oh, muito bom, muito bom. Very sweet, it's lovely. <laughs> Lily wants some. You want some, Lily? <laughs> okay, that was a lovely glass. That was. Thanks very much, Carlos. That was a that was a beautiful drink. That was. They've they've gone back up to work now, and uh, I'm going to nip back to the farmhouse now. I think. Okay, we've just got back from the hospital and uh, yeah, my two little girls are with me now, so yeah. <laughs> are you happy to be back? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm sure you are, yeah, bless your heart. You were in, only in there for a couple of days though, were you in there three days? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Three days, yeah. And Chloe is absolutely beautiful. I'm sure you can you can see her just there. She's <laughs> she's so quiet, she she makes a little murmur every now and again, but she doesn't really cry as such, yeah. does she? Only when, only when we're pulling her about and everything. Sorry for everyone who's uh, who's not liking not liking all the the baby the baby stuff this episode. Um, I've not really had time to make a to make a proper episode this week. It's been a bit 
it's been obviously a bit a bit hectic here this this weekend and in these last few days so um so yeah and my mind's not really been with it anyway so i've just knocked up a quick little episode this week so so apologies about that but um i'm sure you'll all understand and <laughs> and everything like that but yeah so i'm going to um i'm going to i'm going to go now and i'm going to i'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon the rest of my birthday afternoon yeah. with uh, with my two two beautiful little girls here and um yeah thanks ever so much for all of the well wishes and the messages that we've received on facebook and instagram and and everything like that we really really appreciate it and uh, yeah apologies to everyone who's been emailing me and uh, i haven't really come back as quickly as i normally would in the last couple of days um yeah i've just been too busy so sorry about that services uh, is back to its normal <laughs> resumed back to normal now but yeah yeah so yeah i'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon with these two and um yeah thanks very much for watching uh thank you for all your lovely comments and everything uh thank you of course to our, our lovely patreons i really appreciate everything um everything you give us because uh it really it really does mean that we can we can continue making the content not like this week but but our normal content but yeah <laughs> but yeah thanks a lot i hope you all have an absolutely marvelous week and uh yeah see you all again next week bye, bye. <laughs>